Hey guys, it's Jeff with Sunnyland Patio. Today I want to show you how to replace the sling on an ottoman. Welcome to my shop. All right, so of course the first step is usually to measure our ottoman sling uh, for our new ottoman sling. Uh, this one had the sling removed already, so I'm going to show you just using the frame without the old sling in there. But again, what we're doing is we're going to measure the outside edge inside here, like so you see that sling channel there the we're going to measure to the outside edge of it to this outside edge over here we're going to do that where the hardware is so we check that bolt here and then we'll check it again here coming out to 19 inches and then we're going to do the length from the very edge of the rail not the cap just the edge of the rail to the other edge come to 22 inches. All right, so here's where we would normally take the end caps off. Actually, I'm gonna take them off this other side. Just by prying in there with the screwdriver. You gotta kind of work it slowly because these caps, a lot of times, especially if there's a little age on them, you know, they're a little brittle, so they could break on you. So take your time getting them off if possible. And then, of course, we sell replacements of these sling rail end caps. We don't have every one, but we do carry a lot of them. Uh, you can see those at the link below. I'll take those and set them aside. And then what we'll do next is we're going to remove the hardware so that we can loosen one rail off of the chair. So I'm going to use the drill I've set up with the socket and we're just going to reverse this out of there. Take off the one. So now we've got our rail loose. Um, grab our new sling. What we'll do here is I like to usually use the uh, the loose rail and put that on first, um, and I slide that on. To Make sure you go edge to edge. You know, pull it to the nice and tight to the ends of the frame. And we're going to slide it into the other side. What happens is it wants to twist a little bit, so you just got to try and keep it pushing in. It wants to catch the little edge on the, the rail. So just start feeding it in, and usually as you get going, it'll start making it a little easier. And again, pushing it all the way to the edge. Make sure you're straight at the top and bottom now that you've done that, because uh, when you go to tighten it down, you don't want to have to go back and fix it. Good idea if you have the clamps available puts a little less stress on those threads uh, when you're tightening the hardware down so I like to use the clamp um, and we'll put that right in the middle on this job. You can put it off to each side if you've got two clamps or you can just use one in the middle. Seems like it'll work this time. And so what I'll do now is just put the bolts back into the, to the frame. and then tighten them down. Watch your uh, clamp, you don't want it to, once it gets loose, when this tightens down, you don't want it to fall and hit you in the head. All right, then what we'll do is we'll just clip the ends of the sling rods, give them a little pull out, and then cut them flush. And again, on this side, we'll Pull out a little bit and then cut it off. And what you do then is just give it a little tap with the hammer, make sure that it's flush so when you go to put your end cap on, got that nice and flush. And then we'll just put our old caps back in, or if you bought new caps, you can put them in at this time. Ottoman is looking good again here and uh, hope this video is helpful and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.